Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas. It's almost Christmas. It's only five days away. I know some of you can hardly wait. But you know, Christmas isn't just a word. Christmas means the birthday of Jesus. Now, I know when you have your birthday, that's a very exciting day. You celebrate how old you are, whether you're five or eight or 10 or whatever, it's a very special day. And a lot of times on your birthday, there's a birthday cake. And on that birthday cake are candles much like this little candle I'm holding in my hand. And you often have as many candles on your cake as how old you are that year. So if you're turning seven, there's seven candles. And you wait till you can blow them out. So it's a very exciting day. Well, the book I have for you today is called Nativity. Nativity is a word that means birth. And we're talking about the birth or birthday of Jesus who came to earth to be our savior. It was a dark night. There probably were some stars in the sky. And the Bible tells us there were shepherds abiding or staying in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Their flocks were probably sheep, maybe goats. Doesn't tell us for certain. But here are the shepherds keeping watch over their sheep at night. So they couldn't go to sleep, or at least not all of them, because they had to keep watch. And suddenly, Lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and they were very afraid. But the angel said, Fear not, don't be afraid. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, for unto you this day is born a Savior, and this shall be a sign to you you will find the babe lying in a manger. Now, the shepherds knew what a manger was, but maybe you don't. Well, I have here in front of me a manger. And you can see it's made out of sticks. They're not very fancy. And this is what sheep or cows or whatever would find their food. They would pile hay or grain or some combination of things that animals like to eat in the manger. But that night, there weren't animal food in the manger. Instead, Mary put soft cloths there in the manger. And she wrapped this newborn baby named Jesus up in these soft cloths and put him here in the manger. Not exactly a special crib for a baby, is it? Sometimes babies today have very wonderful cribs or bassinets to put their baby in, but Jesus only had a manger. Well, the shepherds were suddenly amazed when there was with the angel a multitude of angels. Multitude means many, 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 many. See, there's so many, you can't count them all. And they were all singing glory to God and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. A wonderful, wonderful song, wasn't it? And so the shepherds went to Bethlehem. And the shepherds came into Bethlehem and found Mary with her husband Joseph and the baby 
who was lying in a manger, just like we talked about. And the shepherds came in and they saw this little baby. And they told others what they had seen that night, that they had seen the baby Jesus, who was the promised Messiah, the one who would come and save his people. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. And Mary, his mother, it says, thought about these things. The word is pondered, which means to think about them a lot. And she kept them in her heart. So this is why we celebrate Christmas, because it's Jesus' birthday. And just as you celebrate your birthday, we on Christmas celebrate the birthday of Christ. And it doesn't matter whether you're in our country or any place in the world. People who believe in Jesus celebrate Christmas because it's the birth of Jesus Christ the Savior who came to earth for everyone in the world. So that's why we have Christmas. It's not just about presents. It's about the coming of Jesus. I hope you'll remember that. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to everyone. Bye.